Hey guys, so Dwayne submitted this image and he, I think this was his first shoot with his new Sony and he had issues with not realizing how you could turn off live mode when you're shooting in studio. So a lot of his images were soft and he wanted to know if there was anything I could do with this. So I thought that I would record this and just to show some of you what happens with blurry images. There's not a lot that you can do. There is a feature in Photoshop that's relatively new that people don't know a lot about that can fix some motion blur, but not straight up, just out of focus, okay? So I'm just, I'm gonna just flatten this and duplicate it and just try and show you where this is. So if you go into Sharpen under Filter and click on Shake Reduction, this is, like I said, is predominantly used for motion blur and unfortunately not super super awesome for just straight up blur but we can we can try and see what what it can do so we don't want a lot of smoothing because it's pretty smooth uh, so we're just going to play around with some of these and you're going to see that there's not a hell of a lot that you can do with this like even if you move it away you can see there's really not much happening which is sad yeah there's just not a lot you can do if this was just motion blur and you couldn't really see it from a distance but if you zoomed in you could see it then I would suggest that this is a tool definitely that, that you would want to try but for this one, there's really nothing that can that can be done to fix a blurry image. See, even with that article suppression on, it doesn't do much. So the only thing that I would suggest doing, Dwayne, would be to just emphasize the, um, you know, the eyes and stuff like that by using a sharp brush. Come in and use a sharp brush, make it smaller, and that's all that I think that you can do. Use a flow around five and just come in and try and try and make the image a little bit sharper even though it isn't and I wouldn't worry about really a lot of the image other than the face the rest can be out of focus it doesn't really matter just you know come in and try and emphasize and resharpen that's the only thing that I would really suggest paint back the pupils Choose a darker color but not black and just emphasize those eyelids. And you know, this is actually a great challenge for some of you if you really want to practice on your painting abilities because ser in all seriousness, it's like using tissue paper or or trace paper, right? Because you're you're gonna come in here and you're going to literally paint right over top of the image and try and make it sharper and more realistic so it's actually a good effort you know in instruction and education to try and see what you can come up with as far as painting over top of of your image and I think it's a great way to learn and to try and see how you can push your boundaries and create perhaps you know something that you otherwise wouldn't have and really really lend itself to being more like a painting than than a photograph Okay, so I'm going to speed ahead with this. You are just going to watch. I'm not going to say anything more. So just watch what I do. And I'll speed it up so that you don't have to sit here and, and you know, live through 40 minutes of editing. Okay, guys.